All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the part two new and improved short tail or tail tidy, as they call them. Uh, I'm just going to go through the uh, assembly process of my new design. So, here's what I've come up with. If you all remember in part one, looks something like this. Had a little mess up on the end here. So, I took the advice of uh, fellow comrade who said we should put reuse this part just because it's able to adapt and bring back this piece and uh, frankly it makes the print shorter so each print was about five and a half hours each so it's about 11 hours of print time for both of these um, so here they are here's for A top and B I'll say that the print quality again turned out fantastic. Uh, the only real blemish is this part here. And uh, I was thinking about it, I could probably get rid of that if I printed in this orientation. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, new ribbing. I bought this part here that's gonna have the metal clip closer. So that should make everything nice and tight. So. Again, we're going to find out together here, so we'll do a dry fit right here, right now. So, look at that. Not bad, huh? It's going to look pretty slick. So, go ahead and do our assembly. So, the new thing on this one that I've added was we'll see later when I bring everything together. Let me get this off real quick. When we get everything together here, you'll notice I have this little slot here. And what that is, is a drain hole, just in case. So it's going to be sitting on top of the tail, under the tail, right? So if any moisture or, say, water or something somehow gets in there, it's all going to come downhill and exit out of this slot. So thought that was clever. But we, uh, we do it in my industry. We'll add drain holes all the time in plastics that are going to be on outdoor machines and things like that. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's start putting this thing together. Cue the music, right? So I'll probably be pulling little pieces of support material out of this as we go. So first thing I want to do, I'm going to put... Go ahead and put this tailpiece thing here on. So. Check alignment. Looking pretty good. I think this material here is going to wait a little bit. So I wanted to bring up the uh, sheen. So I got the other plastic, which is a PLA, same thing, same material. Uh, but it was supposed to be the regular and not the matte PLA. But I did some reading and I found out that the matte PLA actually has some better properties as far as uh, impact and temperature resistance and all that stuff so I'm sticking with the mat just based on that um, you know I could deal with the the sheen difference from my print to the real parts uh, just for that little bit of uh, benefit and material so we're sticking with the matte PLA okay going on to the license plate light here so keep this on there Go ahead and show me still. Like so. Okay. Looks pretty good. Get this 
screwdriver. No more of these nuts jokes, guys, okay? Now, I know this is going to be a little bit tricky when I did it, but hey, it's a one-time thing, right? So we're going to get it down in this hole. Helps that the screwdriver is magnetized, but probably can't see it on camera, but I'm just trying to get it. There we go. So we got the first one started here. in some uh, torque torque gap torque goop whatever you call it but yeah It'd be pretty slick here so I think next thing is gonna be the blinker lights and I'm gonna take a short break and just find out make sure we get this on the right Side here back so white is right so it's gonna be going like this white is right as in white is right upside down so anyway go ahead and get this started now I know that this is the original hardware here these crude silver looking things i'm going to see if i have anything in my kit what did i use yeah i used these on the license plate last time but you know what i'm going to go ahead and use them here instead we'll figure out something else for the license plate slick here so get that one started there and then get this one started over here so yeah you can use the original hardware just I'm updating to some black ones since someone made a comment I should do that German, good and tight. Hmm, that must be part of a factory there, that's extra garbage already in it. Anyway, getting there, looking pretty good. All right, next thing in order is going to be The metal clip. I'm trying to get this in here. As you can see, things are much more tighter, but should be for the better. Oh yeah, that's nice now. So I thickened this plastic just a little bit more to give that some more bite with the clip. And it is very good. Very, very good. So, go ahead and get these hooked on.
Look at that. Get those, make those cross here. Pull that to the side. Get that through the middle here. Just come back right down the middle. Sure everything is oh Took a little bit, but we got it. I mean, that is holding itself in. Oh, that is spicy, huh? Make sure I can get it in the frame. Okay, go ahead and put that on there. I think it was a washer. And yeah, there we go. This guy, I think it was a number five. Nope, still four. Okay. So yeah, I knew this was gonna overlap this seam, guys, but I kind of figured it would be more of like a, a lock-in when you finally get it in. So that's by design, I didn't screw that up. And I gotta kind of keep working this until it Finally bites. Boy. It's great when it feels real solid, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Next step is the rubber grommets. Here's the first one. Oh yeah, much easier from the top. Oh, there it is. Slick, slickity slick, slick. Get the whole thing in the picture here. Now, do we want this or no? I'm gonna go ahead and put it on there. Keep things looking factory. What do you say? Keep it looking factory. The old Excelsior. Washers look good. thing I'm going to put on here.
That thing is this guy. Why not? Hmm? There we have it. Great. Next, next shot will be at the bike. We'll see you there. All right, and we're back. So I got her all assembled, looking fresh. Got the lights on here, just so we can see that the places put lights it up. Let me close the garage door. You can probably see. Any illumination by the light. Granted, she is a little bit more far set back than what it used to be, but I think there's adequate light in there. Let's see, I'm looking at the flex right now, what the flex is in. Yeah, the flex is in this plastic part alone here, so. All right, not worried anymore. What I designed is pretty solid, so. Select, let's check the blinkers. Radio. Let me know what you guys think.